Well, I talked all this shit, Libra, and the damn camera fucking stopped. I hit the fucking button. God damn, what's the cause? Ugh, okay, I think this is what y'all had. Hold it. Yeah, y'all had on the pinnacles. Okay, more of the story. I'm sorry, um, because the camera had cut off. I just do like a little quick recap. I said that y'all had the lion. I said this could be versus your morals, your principles, who you are as a person, and what necessarily you stand for. I do kind of feel like at this particular moment, you doing too much, basically. You got too much going on. You got to figure out what it is that you want. And I said, if this is you at a point in your life where you and somebody else, y'all could be having sex, make sure the intentions are very clear that you don't end up in unrequited particular situations. Uh, whether this is a person that's younger than you or older than you. Um, or if you out here sexually exploring certain things or whatever it is that you got going on, it seems like here this going to be somebody, again, where it's going to dwell up into some some type of attachment. Now, on the flip side here, some of y'all dealing with some type of man that I said he was a sage and he do type of magic. Now, he operate on the dog side equally as well. And one of y'all know, but you also set your ground and trying to block them out, though. And I said that your ancestors trying to come across and give you some type of message. The reason why I say you need to get grounded because one of y'all out here in a, in a state of spin a check, get that shit right back. So this is where, like, you all over the place where I said you getting your hair down your nails on you're doing 50 living motherfucking things at once to be able to uh sustain yourself to make yourself feel better as a person though and it's not necessarily bad but this is all in the name of you so I don't know if this is too um I, I don't want to say impress a person, right? Or this could be some of y'all. Y'all operate more of your masculine energy, though, where, like, you a dude, where you out here, you don't know what necessarily emotion fulfills you, though. Because, say, for instance, if you are a, a woman or identify as a woman, you will be out here like a dude, where a dude will be like, oh, I'm finna go fuck this, man. I'm finna go get this money, man. I'm finna spend this shit, man. I'm finna go do all this particular shit. Like, it's doing too much to the point of to where it's kind of like, if you want a relationship, why you want to get in a relationship? If you say you don't trust somebody, then why the fuck you cause to put yourself in relationships? So it's like at that point where you kind of got to figure out a lot of shit, what it is that you necessarily want instead of being all over the place because you're still going to be in the Six of Swords returning right back to the same situation. So if you're trying to manifest certain things in, be very clear about it equally as well. Don't have uh things where you got to necessarily clear that shit up because I'm saying it's whatever this is that's around now, this could be one of y'all just spying and prying on somebody, though, equally as well, trying to see if an ex or a lover come and move on, and then you trying to go back and fuck and shit, right? We just gonna be honest. Some of y'all may got somebody in life like that, though. Hmm. Right? But equally as well, I say the same, like, you and some Leo guy situations going on, though. I tell you that. But, um, it seemed like you and a Leo have a situation going on. And I tell you, this could just be the alpha, the omega. I told you that particular energy going back and forth with a person. I run this. You don't run this. You don't run me. Woo, 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 woo. All this other stuff. Like, this going to be three fucking videos and three parts. And y'all just going to catch all that other shit. Because I didn't mean for the video to do that. Uh, the first one intentionally, I cut it off. But um, it seems like here some of y'all, this is a manifestation that some of y'all trying to bring in, though. But I told you equally as well, though, you're going to have to connect with your guides. Because I do kind of feel like if some of y'all ain't grounded at this specific point, you are not connected with your guides. You are not in alignment when it comes down to uh, some of y'all. It's like you're not in alignment with, I don't want to say this person. I just feel like with yourself equally as well, what it is that you want. Um... You really not, like some of y'all not, but this just takes time for you to sit down and figure that shit out. So you won't be all over the place. Boom. All right? All right, that's it. So it may seem like it's short. It's just three fucking minutes, but bitch, I just went on a whole rant and didn't even know this job was recording. So I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And I don't want to give it another go because it's nine o'clock. Okay. Now come on, Pisces. Cause I explained them all in uh the beginning, so you see, come on, Pisces, y'all got praying mantis. You got five of cups in reverse. You got nine of pentacles in reverse. You got five of pentacles in reverse. Baby, you got page of cups in reverse. You got the fool card, and you also got the ace of cups. Come on, after Nessa, trying to get a nigga with some money. All right, let me stop playing. Um. 
I did say that there's a particular person that could be manipulative in a state of a relationship or something or somebody trying to use their wit to get out of something, though. Now, with the Nine of Pentacles, some of y'all could be coming off like y'all a little bit selfish. And let me tell you that, though, because it is Nine to the Five. Some of y'all this is needing to pull back and assess a lot of situations. What what requires value into your life though whether it's money or some or whatever it is because if you out here chasing the bag you and libra kind of got the same thing going on i feel like money at this point ain't making you happy as the way it should be right this is where there's that blocking creativity this is where like it's it's I don't know. It's like too focused on the money to where it's killing off your belief in anything in your life where you want to take a risk or jump in anything in life. This could be somebody at the point where you done made too much money or you so accustomed to how you want to live to the point where love wants to come in or being so set in your ways. If it don't hit the certain way that you want it, it's like, what the fuck is the purpose of love? You want to leave a dead ass got the same thing going on. Scorpio had the same thing going on though. Took a majority of our time. It wasn't that much time because I explained all the cards. But, um, it was the same thing. I'm saying like it is. It is the same thing. Some of y'all could be you could be not believing in love, right? Some of y'all got somebody on a pedestal just a little bit too much. Bring it down. Bring it down. And I'm not saying that though in a mind frame of where it's necessarily bad. But with the five of cups being reversed and the nine of pentacles, that's coming out of a very dark time and then just thrusting yourself back into reality. I will tell you that. So this need to be a little bit more realistic about your emotions and particular situations, though. I will tell you that. Now, if this is praying mantis. I tell you with the page of cups, that's that child that I always think they can get away with a lot of shit, though. So this could be somebody that's always jumping off into a cliff into relationships head like feet first. No, uh uh. You go head first. This is daydreaming, thinking in particular situations. And then when it comes down to the actual landing, some of y'all don't think about this shit. Well, I love them. I want to be with them. I think I want to give this another go. Or when it comes down to your expectations of love, a lot of them could be predominantly selfish. I would tell you that. Even if it comes down to money, materialism, or uh, creative projects and stuff like this, it's very one-track mind. It's focused on particular things, and it has to be some type of expansion that's going on, though. Because you see how she takes in this idea she pouring it into this she already has a ripple of certain things that it is that she needs this goes back to the nine that's why some of y'all gotta release certain things or this could be a person or someone that's necessarily coming into your life so that's why i said hmm, could just be looking for a better meaning in life though right i fought with that equally as well i fought with that equally as well i said y'all don't jump Y'all don't jump feet first into relationships, baby. Y'all go head first, romanticizing, thinking, daydreaming, lost in sauce. I'm gonna get this. Da 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 da. I'm gonna make this money. I'm gonna do this. It's like whoa, 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 whoa. Calm down. Like he jumping off. I'm looking on the bottom of his feet. He gotta see where he going, sweetie. He got them eyeballs on his feet. He gotta see where he going. One foot in front of the other. All right. So other than that, though, um, right, somebody security, somebody security bag. Give me some money, please. Um, buy me a dollar at least, right? Over and all, it's okay for you to get your way, but when you get your way at the extent to where you got too much going on, where you can't pay attention to your harvest, that is a problem right so it looks like one of y'all could be in a mind frame of how y'all avoid your feelings you try to run to work it's not gonna work at this particular time you try to run to work or focus on money 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 and it's not working for you right now it's really not it's really not it's time to be honest money 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 or whatever it is with the herbs it could be the nows people places of things right now come on this is the last details and the secrets we keep. Oh, watch your hand. That's when you put to cut this off. Whew. Okay, we got the Ten of Cups. We got the Devil card being reversed. We also got the Hangman. We also got the Lovers in reverse. And then we also got the Queen of Swords with the goddamn Knight of Swords. There's communication that's coming in, though. I tell you, when it comes down to the specific story, though, and I told you, going back to the original beginning, where we got I, loss, love, and freedom. 
love should not be in a state of where y'all view love as a, like some of y'all should be in a state of where you get a relationship you feel like you can't have to transform into certain people over and over and over again that's unrealistic when it comes down to any relationships or any people that's necessarily going on in your life that's unrealistic so there's why there has to be some heavy change that comes about it from this though especially if it's going to go see a therapist if this is a certain perspective if this is a certain beliefs that you have been told because i tell you there's a communication that's coming in between you and someone or something though i will tell you knight of swords is that nip it in the bud type energy let's get this over with equally as well so i do kind of feel like there could be some type of mm, if you are more let's talk this out so we can get the fuck over this shit somebody else is not so there could be a very uh emotional indifferences when it comes down to a lot of things though so this is where it seemed like certain things could be drug out for the longest though and you don't actually get the resolve that it is that you think you need because in the mind frame of oh we could just we can get over this shit don't work like that especially if you got a particular pattern and behavior that comes up so i don't know why i want to say that though oh that's the toad scorpio head right there i don't know what i had to say that though but i will tell you that though Hmm. so that's it that's it so on the story you gotta let something go um you really do some of y'all this is a different perspective on old ways and i'm telling you especially when it comes down to the ten of cups or what you see is happiness though i will tell you that because with this love is called equally as well i tell you this is somebody that does not like to be accountable for a lot of shit so this could just be cutting off communication between you and someone else. Because I'm saying you want y'all be up under somebody else's influence. The way they move, the way they say, oh, this is what someone so so said. We're going to do this. Or my therapist said this. We're going to do this. And da, da, da. If you don't know how to apply that to your regular life, just drop it at this point till you figure out a certain way. Um, some of y'all, um, especially if it's cheating going on. Yeah, some of y'all really gonna have to go to therapy, especially if it's anything with cheating or anything involved. Some of y'all probably just need to go to therapy so you can learn how to emotionally express yourself so you won't be just so bottled up, though. I tell you that, though. Because with the lover's card in reverse, that is emotional avoiding a lot of things. I will tell you that. That's not the state of reality to where you want to accept a lot of things, though. This could be more than rejecting. I don't want love. I don't want this. I don't need this. So one of y'all could be in that mind frame where you really gotta let that go. And if it's an old love or a particular person, you probably finally gotta cut the cord, though, with them though with some of y'all don't want to so um that's that right it was needing to speak up i always say something this is where you dial it back and let them speak up for they sell, right so uh yeah we be want to cover our friends we be want to say no nah, fuck that nigga he don't need to do that now nah, sometimes it's best to let them feel out situations on their own though let them feel like they own words though right so uh and then to making sure that you uh when it comes down to help then when you ask for help, make sure that your help ain't domineering. But some of y'all just a little bit too passive on whoever this is that's coming in to help. And they really don't got good intentions, right? So anywho, that's it. I'm finna upload these. Oh, do I got it? No, do I got an app? Did I download an app? I think we went through this last time. No. Because it didn't do it. I tried to click and click and click. Which I should have just used my iPhone. This ain't that Google tablet, Oof, right? That just broke. Not even no insurance on. I just bought that hot off the press, and it was on the sale. I'm telling you, so this ain't got that. I had a mean who was editing up on there, and that John was free in the motherfucker too. HP need to come on with the come on, right? Cause we need that baby. We need that. Cause these editing apps are ass unless you paying for them. And I tell you, I'm not gonna pay for Adobe. Because that shit going to slow down. My other computer could both of these synced up together. So I'm not going to do that. That's how I get that big joint with the flat screen and the modem and all the other shit with the wireless remote that costs about $2,000. So, nah, I ain't going to download that one because then I could just create a whole... I could have the same login, but I could just have Adobe on that motherfucker instead of just syncing to here. Anywho, whatever. I don't want to deal with it. I don't. I don't want to slow my damn computer down. It does slow your computer down a lot. Well, it don't, though, but I don't want to be ran about it. Okay, anywho, I'm gone. So, good luck with y'all love lives, though. So... Keep in mind, all y'all in cahoots, Libra, Scorpio, and Pisces, all y'all in cahoots. So, um, yeah, good luck with that. So, if somebody in their kids sitting here, if it's a nigga that said he gonna take care of you and your kids, 
So, shout out to y'all, because my love life is ass. A nigga ain't telling me none of that shit at all. You two niggas are trying to ruin it right now. So, shout out to y'all. Oh, period. So, shout out to y'all. I said, I'll take care of you and your kids. Oh, everybody told me that, baby. I'm about to have another baby. I'm just kidding. All right, um, that's it. Friday. Friday, I got to do it again. The last one to Saturday. I go make my meal appointment. Bye.